Sometimes our brainiacs are dragged away from science to do other things, like read your emails and letters. Now, most of the time, obviously, we completely ignore them. However, there is one question that keeps on coming up. One question that troubles more of you more often than anything else. And that is, how many helium balloons would it take to lift a person? I'll go on then. Helium, as any school child knows, is lighter than air. That's what allows balloons filled with it to fly. Now, obviously, to float a whole person, we're going to need a victim. Someone willing to lay their life on the line for science. Someone well, a bit gullible, really. I give you John Tickle. Hello, Richard Hammond. Hello, mate. How are you? Very well, thanks. Very well. So, are you looking forward? Constipation, dry eyes, or heartburn. If you have any or all of these issues,